let's take a moment to talk about duplicate versus duplicate share. So anytime you see this little ghost icon in the bottom left of an in instrument part, that's indicating that this is a shared copy. And I think most of us understand by now what this means is that if you make any changes, let's just do this as an example. If I change one and I change the octave, for example, notice that it's changing across all of the shared copies. Now this can be really, really useful, especially if you're working in different blocks or sections and you're kind of wanting to do some editing and you might hop over to verse two and realize that your hi-hats need a little bit of work and it's the same hi-hats that are being used in verse one. If you're using a shared copy, you only have to do that work once. Now, this is obviously completely different if you wanna make something unique or have something have a different feel, then it might make sense to just use a regular copy that's a unique copy. But when we're talking about duplicate shared, that's the workflow. And for the purpose that it serves, it's absolutely brilliant. Okay. So in order to do duplicate and duplicate shared, we have key commands. D is duplicate or duplicate, depending on where you are. And shift D will give us our duplicate shared. Okay. Let's do one more over here. Now it's very easy to do things like duplicate or duplicate shared when the events or the instrument parts are right beside each other. But what happens if I wanted to take these two and I wanted to actually move them over here? And I didn't wanna to have to do anything like, for example, drag this one out and then drag this one out and then make new ones over here. Well, there's actually a key command that we can use. We just hold down, I'm just gonna shift drag across to select both of these. If I use my alter option and I drag this over, if I now just let go, that creates a unique copy, but we can actually just, it's kind of like a, a slightly different sequence that allows us to do the same type of workflow, but we can maintain the shared status. So I'm gonna do an alter option drag. We're gonna drag across over here. This time I'm going to let go of the alt modifier, alter option, depending on whether you're on a Mac or PC, and I'm gonna hold down the command modifier on a Mac and notice now it says shared copy. That'd be control on a PC. So now if I let go of my mouse, it's created a shared copy. This in itself is very useful, especially if you wanna shimmy things around and move things or you want to turn something into a shared copy. Maybe these two were unique and I decided that I want them to be shared across here. I can just delete these, head over here, shift click to grab both of them, alter option drag, let go, hold my command modifier, let go, and we're good to go. Okay, so that's one use case. Now, another use case where I find this to be really, really useful is let's say that I wanna have the same instrument part, the same MIDI event with the same note data. I want that to be applying to more than one track. Now, before we go any further, yes, I know we have multi instruments and this is kind of what that does, but let's say for argument's sake that I don't wanna use a multi instrument. I wanna have an instrument part or an instrument track and an instrument track and each one of these has their own channel in the console and its own name and I just want to keep it in like a one-to-one -one type workflow. This is another case where this is really really useful. We just highlight across here, alter option, drag down, let go of the alt modifier, hold down my command, let go and now we have these across two different tracks. If I make any changes to any one of these over here, let's kind of scroll this into view so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If I make a change Got to make sure that our focus is in here now. Uh, I'm going to just move this up an octave. Notice it happens across both of these tracks. That is very useful. Now, la pièce de la résistance. Uh, this is something that I just found out actually recently. When you're using the arranger track, we have the same type of thing that we can do. We can do kind of like a duplicate and we can do a duplicate shared. And we can also do like mouse dragging to bring things in in a different section. Um, so for example, I'm gonna just snip this over here. We'll go back to my arrow tool. If I wanted to duplicate this right away, I use D, notice that we've lost our duplicate shared status. So that might not be what you want. Now, Shift D, it maintains its duplicate shared status. So that's useful. And that really makes sense when things are beside each other. But for example, if we take a look at the same kind of situation that we were talking about before, where you're not doing something that it's right beside each other, if I hold Alter Option and I go to drag to insert this and I let go, they've lost their duplicate shared status. Might not be what we want. We know that we can redo this manually, but that might not be what we want. We might want all of these instrument parts to maintain their shared status. So in that case, we're gonna do the same trick. I'm gonna 
hold down Alt or Option, click, hold, drag to insert this over here. Now I'm going to let go of the Alt or Option and I'm going to hold down the Command button or the Command modifier, Control on a PC. In this case, it doesn't say Shared Copy, but if we now let go of the mouse, notice that it does do it and they do maintain their duplicate shared status. Three different ways to approach it. Individual editing on your timeline in a linear fashion or moving things from one instrument track to another, maintaining duplicate shared status. We also know that we can use the duplicate shared copy or, or key command when we're working in the arranger track. As long as it's beside each other, it'll maintain the duplicate shared versus duplicate. But the minute you start dragging things down, it's the exact same thing. If I take this now and I wanted to just, let's get rid of these two so we're working in even events and just alter option drag and bring it over here. Notice that a duplicate shared status is gone. But if I do the same thing, alter option drag, bring it over here, let go, hold down the command modifier and then let go, they maintain their duplicate shared status. Huge time saver, especially if you like to work in a linear fashion and you like to use duplicate shared instrument parts and events, this tip is for you. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.